hi dolls this is moya lovely and welcome to 876 barbie or moya lovely channel um i want to say happy mother's day to all the mothers out there and i hope you're enjoying your day much love and respect like being a mother is a 24 hour job like and if you have your mother to help her help you big her up take care of her spoil her because being a mother and doing it alone or not or like not having the guidance of your mother is rough but anyways i'm going to get into some questions and just like i was supposed to do a video with some guy some ladies but i didn't get to handing my clip early but i decided to just do a little bit of the questions and yeah all right so let's talk about motherhood i've not spoken about my birthing experience as yet i will do that at a later date probably to get ready with me but yes i have a no one 20 20 20 22 months old baby so he's one one year old and ten months one and ten months what how do you want to do it oh yeah he's 22 months old um and yeah one day get to get with me uh so um yeah so that is it that if, if you don't know yeah that now you know i have one little boy named dj and he's at this date he's 22 months old all right so a question do you feel pressured or do you feel yourself growing since becoming a mother honestly i've felt that i grew as a person um i'm more nurturing even though i did have that side to me already, but you know you're more i'm more nurturing as a mother um and i grew in how i think now like i want to do so much more so i can do so much more for him um and that's how any parent should think not just a mother um i want to do i want to elevate myself so i can elevate him um so yeah um are there things you miss about life before a child um the only thing i miss about have the pre-child is the freedom to just move now i have to think about what i'm doing especially with this corona thing i have to think about what i'm doing before i move but before like even with hubby boyfriend at, boyfriend at the time but now hubby um we just get up and go and do different activities on the island and stuff but now we have to think and i overpack because i have to make sure the baby has everything in need just in case so that's the only thing apart from that not really i'm not missing out on much because i was already a homebody so yeah what are the most difficult challenge challenge gene or health issues that your child have faced did you did it put you in a state of panic all right so to this day the only um health issue my baby boy has had is when he had um i don't remember the name of it but it's like um they have rashes and the, we didn't know what it was and the we went to the pediatrician and she said oh it's normal she gave us something to calm it down and it looked like in the same time he picked up a bug so he had um what do you call that when, when they do keep I don't know. okay so um it's 30 hours now since baby has had a fever it's now after eight um he had fever he i saw i felt a spike in his temperature yesterday which was thursday around 2 30 p.m in the afternoon it's now eight at night on friday i checked his rectal ter temperature um before i gave him a bath it was 38.3 so i'm a little bit worried 
and I'm thinking that we need to go to the hospital tonight because I really don't want nothing to be happening to him. He's not vomiting or anything. He's acting fine, normal, a little bit more, well, I don't know, I'm not going to say clingy, but he is not eating as much. That's the only problem, but he's not really a big eater, so it's not a tremendous difference because he has his time when he just doesn't want food, but it's that with a temperature got me worried so um i think we might i i'm home alone with him and it's night so i don't have to wait until babe gets home i think i might just carry him to the hospital if by nine o'clock when i give him the panadol it doesn't go down um so he slept with us last night we've been having the ac running to keep his body temperature down um, so yeah, I, I don't know what to do. First time DJ is feeling sick and I have to be keeping strong for him and myself cause we're here alone at home. Last night wasn't so bad, but tonight his self control is getting higher and I don't like that. If you're happy and you know, happy house. If you're happy and you know, and you know what to show. If you're happy and you know, happy house. So we are at the hospital. And you're waiting to see the doctor. So he had to take that salt water thing. Like, name a thing right now. Now, at night, it's like one in the morning, and I can't remember nothing properly. But bear with me. Um, that salt water solution, we had to go to the um, children's hospital and get him because he would not keep anything down um so that was the most frightening thing that happened to me so far and yes i was not panicked because i was like i don't know what happened to my baby um we were there till morning he got his medicine but thankfully it wasn't anything serious um and stuff so yeah but it's nothing big healthy just you know new mom um, he was very young at the time as well. He was under one. So, you know, a new mom, we make sure, um, cause he was puking and we had to make sure that, oh, he's okay. So, so he had a rash, um, and then he was puking, not keeping anything down. So we had to carry him to the hospital, um, cause it was night. So we get to carry him to the pediatrician. Alright, so what is the best piece of advice that you could give a mother, old or new? Um, being a new mom, my best advice to a new mom, or even an old mom, is just do you. You know what's best or you understand what's best for your child. Um, what you think you want for your child is best, so do you. Do best by your child. But make sure it then turn out to be a good person in the the long run but do best for your child whether it is in something simple as breastfeeding versus formula feeling you know what you want for your child and what's good for you do the best for your child understand what your child needs as well like growing up and being a mom now not having my mom i realize that is a lot i missed out on nurture wise um but yeah do you and be um trust your motherly instincts that's the best thing that i could suggest for any mom out there um yeah oh uh, and invest in education and growth like 
for example i know that this is a part of my advice i um suggest growth in 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 knowledge like for example i plan or hope to teach my son about like things that i never knew as an um even as an adult like how to make money without making money you know stuff like that like things that they don't teach you in school things that they don't they don't even teach you you have to figure it out like how do you get, go about earn, owning a house what's mortgages on all those little small things um is something that i advise mothers to teach their kids give them an upper hand in this world that we have today like especially in jamaica they don't teach these things like out there just so so you need to teach your kids about financing in, in um, investment renting versus owning all of those things so like even myself i'm learning so i can learn, so i can teach him in the long run because that's what we need <laughs> sad to say a plus b find x when i use that in the real world so i want to teach him things that he will use in the real world like being an entrepreneur for your own self um making investments and all those things so i'm learning those things as I go along or trying to learn those things so I can better teach him so that's one advice I give to other moms new and old um, three advice I would another advice I'd give moms new moms old moms whatever um, it's just make sure that you are good for self as well because a good a happy mommy gives a happy child so um, no matter what it is, whatever you're comfortable with it, don't let nobody um, like put their opinion on what you are doing. As I said, like be whoever you need, like your instincts for self as well. Um, whatever that you think that's good for your lifestyle would be good for a baby. Like um, as long as you're happy with what you're doing, like if you want to be a stay at home mom like me if you want to be a career woman anything you want to do as long as you want to do it do it like instinct a happy baby happy mother so if it is that you're happy working and then you come home and can kiss a baby whatever whatever and if you were stay at home mom you'll be angry and bad to the baby you just know what is good for you be happy and so that you have a happy child like I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying but just be happy with your decisions that you are doing like for self and for baby just make sure it's a decent human being come out at the end <laughs> I have to say that like, because if some persons if some persons say they're mothers and some decision they make but sorry if I keep looking that way but yeah so that's the question that I have written down um but otherwise from that like so far motherhood has been a challenging one i have ups and downs and all of that i i want to talk about other things coming with motherhood like postpartum how to deal with being a mom on your own and well not on your own because i'm not on my own but you know how to deal with stuff for yourself so that you can better help baby and help persons around you and stuff like that but yeah um i don't know what else to say oh i can just give my story then about my pregnancy i guess all right so